Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I will be showing you how you add and edit a table of contents into your Google Sites website. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead to the official Google Sites website right here and log into your Google account. After logging into your Google account, guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can see all of the options that you have to use in the Google Sites website. And here you can see all the websites that you own. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my websites that I have right here by clicking on it. And after clicking on it, now this will open up the website in the page. So yeah, guys, let's say that we want to create a table of contents and we want to add some content to it. Now I'm going to be showing you right now how to do it and you only need a couple of clicks. So the first thing we want to do guys is go right here at the right side of the page and make sure we are in the insert option right here. Then we're going to look down and find here this option called table of contents. So let's go ahead guys and click on table of contents. And now as you can see this will automatically add the table of contents right here. You can move it around if you want and put it anywhere you want in the site. I'm going to leave it right here and you just see it says add headings and they will appear in your table of contents. So guys basically I'm, let's go ahead now and add a new text box. And after adding a text box, guys, I'm going to go ahead and name it hello. And as you can see here, guys, this is just a normal text box and nothing has appeared in my heading. So, guys, basically what we have to do is go ahead and take the text that we have and we're going to change it right here under, instead of normal text, we're going to change it to heading. And as you can see here, guys, now it is a heading and now it will appear in the table of contents right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take another text box and I'm going to name it goodbye. Again, you can see that there is nothing right here, right here. It is not appearing in the table of contents, but if we change it to a heading, you can see that now it has changed into the heading and now it will be right here and it will be in the table of contents. So yeah, guys, basically that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.